welcome back to the sea. What do we have on the show today? Today we have this. It is a Amiga hard disk from AmigaStore.eu that was sent in to me because it is erased and it needs to work on a 1200. So I broke out Project Desert Storm. Desert Storm is what I named this Amiga because it kind of reminds me of something like that. Some kind of desert camo. I didn't want to retrobrite it because I just thought it looked so cool this way. She's still got the sticker on her. This is an Amiga 1200, of course, with, I think, a Terrible Fire TF-1230, I think. And it's not RTG, she's all RGB and traditional everything. So we're going to get this fired up. I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. Hey, you can go about doing this. You can do it the long way or the shorter way that turns into the long way. This Amiga I took the screws out of. They're in my special cup. And what we're going to do, the Gotex hooked up. This unit has a real hard drive in it. Real hard drive. We're going to let it boot. It's a Terrible Fire TF-1230. And it has 100 and something megs of RAM. And it hasn't ran in forever. Not a DOS device in DHR. Shit. Boot options. DH0 enabled. Okay. You warmed up now? Boop. This thing's been turned off for about a year. Really? Only Amiga. Screws up your weekend. Only Amiga. I guess this hard drive said no thank you sir so using this Amiga as is doesn't even matter at this point I know it's got a real hard drive in it that is a pain in the butt and sometimes wants to work and sometimes doesn't so we're gonna pull the keyboard out you can see she's beautiful on the bottom desert storm on the top I really like that just gonna carefully slide that there watching out for the metal bits here's our real hard drive it's the real one. I'm going to pull the connector off the motherboard carefully. IBM Travel Star 20 Giger. You can use WinUAE, which we've all used before. Right click, run it as an administrator. That way you have access to the hardware level where you can add this in as an actual drive. If I was going to load something, I'll go to my configurations. I got a bunch. You do you. So we'll say A1200, CPU 030, because that's what I have, Terrible Fire TF1230, and uh, FPU none, because this board doesn't have one, never added it in, chipset AGA, A1200, NTSC in this case, I would go to CD and hard drives, now you see I have some shared stuff here, so I'm going to remove this, and that's a CD-ROM of Amiga OS 3.2, which I'm going to leave in there. That's IDE 0, so I'm going to change that to IDE 1. Device 1. Okay. Now I'm going to add a hard drive. Boop. And I'm going to drop this down here. And you see this MBR, Master Boot Record, Generic Mass Storage Class? So this was formatted. This has nothing on it. If I was to do this way, I would click this card, RAW itself. Add a hard drive. And then I would go through and put my floppy disk in, install. And then I'll say start. It's going to use this card that you can barely see below right here as its hard drive. All right, so again, install 3.2 hard drive toolbox. It does see it. So now we'll do change drive type, define new. The bug with 3.2, just change a single character here. It doesn't matter. I always do RAM colon because I don't want to save everything and then we'll say read configuration. If you get an error here, it could be that your Windows device is still grabbing onto it and this could happen to this right now. So UAE IDE, we're just going to call this uh, 4GCF. 
mass storage class I just want it to show up as whatever okay okay LBA and um, or RDB I'm sorry rigid disk block we're gonna blow this away it's a four gig card so 3847 is our limit which is fine for a DH0 on a 1200 we're gonna put direct SCSI transfer I'm gonna leave it at 30 buffers but I'm gonna click change here and I'm gonna bump this to 1024 block size why it does give you a little speed boost it uses a little bit more space but not as much as 32k clusters and I'm not worried about max transfer because it's IDE and we'll say Ote Buckwheat Ote and save now this is where you're seeing that Windows still has the drive right so blocks you're right because Windows has it mounted so we're just gonna eject it Eject. save change the drive continue now since I ejected the drive it'll work okay we'll say exit and we'll have to reboot so We're going to quit this for a minute. I'm going to show you how I do it. So when UAE is used, I'm going to use this simple adapter. It's a compact flash to 2.5 IDE. And it plugs in here and just rests right on the PCMCIA. Icons, format, disk. This is a CF card, so we're going to choose quick. We're going to call this one system. No trash can. Fast file system. International mode like Jesus would choose. Quick format, are you sure, are you sure? I'm sure. Initializing disk. If you have a super large hard drive at your secondary drive and you don't have a lot of RAM, you may get an initialization error on large partitions, even if you dump the block size higher. The more space you need, the more space you have, the more RAM you need. Remember that. So, I could go forth with the install 3.2 and do the install. Putting this disk in WinUAE, this should not recognize the card which is even better we're going to right click this and say run as administrator so now when i add the hard drive it says rdb rigid disk block so it knows it's an amiga it's going to boot off install 3.2 on the whoa, on the floppy image right here and hopefully we'll have a cd-rom show up now if i activate the cd-rom It loads the CD. So I want to say install and then start here. Start here is going to load the locale off the CD. You'll see the locale disk show up right here. Now it says double click on your install and follow the instructions. That's fine. Install, install, English. And this will auto switch the disks for you. Proceed, install 3.2, intermediate user, proceed, for real, yep, English, don't need any printers, do not need any other languages or key maps. Glow icon sucks, so say no, because I'm going to put my magic workbench on there for him. Looks a hell of a lot better than glow icons. And this automatically will switch all of the disks, which you can barely see flickering in the background. You'll see them pop in here. That's the part that makes WinUAE so much better. And the fact that I have my network share, whoops, under shared here that I can't quite get to right now. With all of my stuff where I can drag some programs in here, like directory works and stuff like that. And there you go. So proceed to reboot. Fine. It's done. So I'm going to toggle back over here to directory work. Say volumes. And then I'm going to go to my devs DOS drivers. And grab this CF0 here. Now we have compact flashcard access. Now I'm done. Just for the initial show you how it's done. Right. Built the image, or built the RDB on a real Amiga, so I know it's there. You can do it on here, it's just a pain in the butt sometimes. I'm just hitting F12 because that puts it in no pause mode. I can grab this card, and now we're going to put it in the real Amiga and fire it up. 
I'm going to slide this back into this. And we're going to turn this on. Take the disc out. We should have a bootable Amiga 1200 that boots. Now when you use pause in case I screwed something up, which I probably did, but we'll see in a second. Okay, recoverable alert. Why? Because I am 314 kickstart. That's what's wrong with this country. If I had the right kickstarts for the 1200, which I do not, I don't have 321. I have 314 and no ROMs left. It's like put the card right back in here. Just press F12, and we're still we're still rocking. There's the card. And that's three two. Now I can do three two one, but I have to I have to have the modules gets loaded to make sure you get the ROMs and stuff. That's it. F12, and then quit. And this will work in a real twelve hundred. If I had. The correct ROMs, which I don't think I do. If I do, I'll pop them in there, but I know I don't. And 3.0 for the 1200. That's all I got. So, in a nutshell, that's how you kind of... I make the RDB on here, and I stick it in here, and then you stick it back in here, and it would work. Because I don't have 3.2, I'd have to do the load modules and all that stuff and rig this to work with this and I don't want to do that because the owner has three two rooms so that's the quick request here on how I accidentally erased my card I do have the purchase three two rooms and the 1200 only purchased one card for all three machines whoops put three two on there and the provided SD card so I can try and set it up oh you want me to give you OS 3.2 I purchased 321 ROMs, but I only purchased one card. So they're not selling you. What are they? So they're selling you what I just did an Amiga hard drive for the 3000 D and T, 4 gig. Compact flash comp compatible with Amiga computers. It doesn't say install. It just says workbench. So this is a bootable disk for your 1200. I know what you need. That's what those SD cards were for. So in the other video, when I was repairing those motherboards, this, I made a hard drive. A bootable disk for his 3000. He needed the OS but he doesn't own the OS so I can't really do that so that you gotta buy the OS not just the ROMs to own the OS so that's what's going on in 1200s and that's how you make a hard drive image for things and I didn't mind doing a Zulu image to restore a hard drive to get you working but that's all I can do thank you guys for watching and I hope you learned something Funny, you bastard.